Whoa. What's all that about? You mad at me or something? I don't know. Did you do something to make me mad? Because then I am. But if you didn't, then I am not. I didn't do anything. Then I am not mad. I am mad. Assuming Gloria's statements are true, can we logically conclude that J did something to make her mad? Let A represent J did something to make Gloria mad, and let B represent Gloria is mad. Gloria says, if you did something to make me mad, then I am mad. We can write this out as if A then B. Gloria also says that she is mad. B. From these statements, can we conclude A? No. Concluding A would be a propositional fallacy called affirming the consequent. It's a fallacy because other things could have made Gloria mad, like her son. However, Gloria also says, if you did not do something to make me mad, then I am not mad. We can write this out as if not A, then not B. This is logically equivalent to if B, then A. So let's change it for simplicity. If Gloria is mad, then J did something to make Gloria mad. And we know that Gloria is mad, B. From these premises, can we logically conclude A? We can. This is a valid argument form called modus ponens. So assuming Gloria's premises are true, then J did indeed do something to make her mad.